Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Really? You've got to be kidding. Well, I mean, what can I say? When you're right, you're right. Yeah. You know, uh, a life can be changed by a voice on the phone. I'll talk to you later. Can I help you? Are you lost? I, I used to live here. 372 Rambo Drive. Well, obviously you don't live here anymore. I'm sorry, is there a reason for you to be here? I'm really busy at the moment. I have a story about this house. What did you say? You want to tell me a story about this house? When I was a young boy, we had one of the oldest telephones. That telephone was one of the finest pieces of equipment I'd ever seen. Hello? It was up there on the wall and I was too little to yes, reach it. it is. Bruce, is your room clean? Can you make sure it is, please? Hey, Bruce. Hey, can I help you, Dad? Not today, son. Some of these tools are a little too heavy for you to hold. Come on, get in. Remember, son, these tools are not for children. You got a room full of toys in there. Why don't you go and play with them? Yes, my husband works under her supervision. Who is it, honey? It's work. What do they want? Here, you speak to them, love. Okay, thank you. Hello, Luther speaking. Yes, I've called her office many times. Give me her direct number and I'll call her directly. Yes, I have a pen. How was your day, love? Oh, same old. Dad, when do you go away again? Oh, I have to leave in the morning, Brucey. I thought you were going to stay longer. You said you were going to come to my cricket game. Oh, as soon as I finish work, I'll be back. And we can go over to the fields and practice your bowling then, hey? How about that? That's what you said last time. <sighs> it's work, son. Nothing I can do about it. I promise we'll go over to the cricket fields when I get back, OK? Well, it's my last game this weekend. What did they say? They gave me a number. I'll have a meeting with her tomorrow. I didn't know whom to call, but there was this number beside the old telephone. Hello? Uh, I hurt my finger. Who's this? Um, uh... Hey, hey, calm down there. Isn't your mother or father home? M Mommy's next door and Daddy's gone away. Oh. Okay. Are you bleeding? No, but my finger really hurt. I was trying to help my dad and I banged it with a hammer. Oh, yes, that would hurt. Can you get some ice from the freezer? I'm not allowed to. Mum will get mad if I help myself. I'm sure she won't mind if it will make you feel better, eh? I want you to take a little bit of ice and hold it to your finger. By the way, what's your name? Mm Bruce. Hi, Bruce. What's yours? You can call me Julie. All right. And after that, I called Julie for everything. She 
should even help me with my history. I had a pet mouse named Cracker. One day he never woke up. I remember I couldn't stop crying. I told her about Cracker and the funny things he would do in his cage. She listened to me and said, Death is a part of life. I wasn't happy with her explanation. I argued. But Cracker was my best friend. He was always here with me. Why does life want to take away all things that make us happy? Bruce, always remember that there are other worlds to go. I don't know why, but somehow I felt better. All of which took place in this house. But you know, good things never last. Oh, I love this song. Remember this one, Pope? When I was nine years old, we moved across to another neighbourhood. I hated it and I protested silently. Brucey, could you answer the phone, please? Brucey, where are you going? Bruce? For some reason, it had never occurred to me to try any other phone. I had to come back here. I couldn't think of my life without Julie. She would always listen to me. Tell me you've heard your finger again. It's really you. It's been so long since I spoke to you. I miss you so much. I feel sad every day at my new house. Do you know how much your talks mean to me, Bruce? More than you'll ever know. I never had any children, and so I look forward to our calls. I spoke to her for hours. Hello? Is this Julie? Are you a friend? Yes. Miss Julie died last night. I was winded. I couldn't believe my ears. I was about to hang the receiver when... Wait a minute. What did you say your name was? Bruce. The Prime Minister left a message for you. <sighs> Prime Minister? Are you serious? Yeah. The woman I was speaking to was Prime Minister Julie Howard. She was my best friend. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, what was her message to you? There are other worlds to go. I, I'd always thought I'd hear a voice again, just once. <laughs> 